Welcome to Beginner's Tutorial Microsoft SQL Server. Today we are going to learn about relationship among tables and how to create it graphically. Let's understand relationship among tables with this simple example. We have two table here, customer and customer detail. Customer table contains record about customer's first name, last name and date of birth and customer detail table keeping the records of customer's addresses. Customer 1 Tom has two addresses present and permanent. That is why we have created separate table for customer addresses so that we can keep multiple records of each customer. Technically it is called normalization. So relationship creates a link between two tables. Database engine uses this relation to find out records spread over multiple tables. Relationships are defined on the basis of matching key columns. In SQL Server, these relationships are defined using primary key and foreign key constraint. A link is created between two tables where the primary key of one table is associated with the foreign key of another table using database relationships. There are three types of relationship, one to one, one to many, and many to many. In this illustration, I am showing one to many relationship. Let's do some practical. First, log into SQL Server Management Studio. We have created a database called TestDB. Under TestDB, we have two table, customer and customer detail. Now you are going to create relationship between these two tables. To do it, you have to go to the database diagrams. Right click on it, new database diagram. Here is the tables, select both, add. Click save icon to save the diagram. Give a relevant name, click OK. Here is our two table, customer and customer detail. Customer table has a primary key column called customer ID and customer detail has also a same column customer ID and it will be the foreign key in this relationship. We are going to make a one to many relationship. It is pretty easy. Click and hold the primary key column and drag it over. It always provide a <coughs> default name. You can change it or keep it as it is. We are going to keep it. Here is some parameter. Gradually we know all about these parameters. For this tutorial we are keeping the default. You can rearrange it, bend it to illustrate it perfectly. You can also view some additional information about table standard view we can see the data type and other parameters you can also print this layout from here from this database diagram you can also manipulate the table you can add new column edit as like as table designer let's see how to utilize this relationship select new query right click on it design query editor select and add all tables it is showing the relationship between these two tables we are going to query some data from these tables it automatically created SQL statement execute where you can see the tom has two addresses present and permanent robin only one addresses actually in our table there are three customer but it is showing only two let me explain why select this SQL statement again design query edit query editor here is the node it is not 
not showing our third customer because third customer don't have any data in the customer detail table if you want to show it right click on this node and select all rows from customers this single statement little bit changed it is changed left outer join if we omit it it is called inner join so if you change here the second statement will change it to outer left outer join click ok execute it again here you can see now we have got mr rex our third customer this customer don't have any data in the detail call table i think you got the basic idea about sql server table relations please subscribe to my channel more exciting videos are coming every week